Welcome back. Welcome back to Fate. Fate. Hopefully we don't lose power, but you never know the big ass storm here. Rain. Okay. You All right, you we're gonna there. try to hustle to through this. Uh, 14Q. It's over there. Uh, there's a small pouch containing 100 gold. Wow, wow, wee wow. I don't know, right? 14S. You didn't tell the dude all ties are right. What we do? No. Um, man. He's super gonna hate us. <laughs> He's gonna get so lost. What do I say? You have to tell him all ties are right. All ties are they try to get him downtown. downtown. They'll try to go to the other 4th Street. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sure. yeah, they always do it. Uh, I let's did see it too. Here. But so. He like, gave me his address. I went down there. I was like. This it's room, 14S, All contains yeah. um, more insane etchings of a dwarf that was very obviously broken down by hunger and solitude. On the ground, there is a dwarf, a dwarven corpse with obviously self-inflicted mortal wounds. Oh, shit. Um, he has a uh, note. I am the last, the final dwarf. The spirits of them all haunt my sight, giving me true knowledge. I am a god. I am a Rusha given form. I am death. My dwarven bounds are leaving and I shall ascend. Great. Great. Yeah, totally bonkers. Great. Okay, Cows not having it. No. They don't like storms. More, more, more weather. Sure, you did it. She was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was okay. like, oh, okay, I guess we've dealt with uh, this before. 14T, <laughs> which is an adjacent, has another potion of healing. 18T. Uh, 14U has a, a small pouch containing 10 platinum Ooh. Ooh, platinum. pieces. Oh. That's 1,000 gold. And that's pretty much it in this area. <clears throat> another bathroom in the back corner? Yeah. Alright. The Fedora of Legends is upon us. Let's the what? Chat, the chat says the Fedora of Legends is upon us. The Fedora! <laughs> no, thank you. From Steel Wrath 64. <laughs> now, I told you, man. The next story. area of sort of relevance, I guess, is going to be through the bigger doors on the eastern walls. Uh, yeah. Well, what about this? Same. They both open into the same area. How do we know that? Uh, you won't until you go through one of the doors. And I will show you what all is there. Don't metagame. Okay, here we go. So, try not to. Here we are. Everybody, you probably can't really see it all that well, but. Yeah, yeah. It's a map. It's a map! <laughs> yeah, so you're going to be going down to this. You're not even on camera at all. I'm not? This area. I tried. There, that's better. Okay. It's all about the, uh, you know, trying, right? Your imagination. Oh. Area. <laughs> imagination. So it was 15. Depends on you're talking to, because sometimes you can 15. or cannot. There is no try. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, that was a good trick. He's freaking out, man. <clears throat> he is freaking out. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's not okay. This area has a more substantial kitchen area, uh, some training places, and a brewery area. As well. This is when your character would get really excited. We're going to go over <laughs> uh, all of these kind of step by step. The kitchen shows signs of true horror. Upon the preparation table lies a number of bones showing signs of bladed slicing. Death, um, yeah. Not cool with this. A medicine check, which I won't make you roll Taste. because it's a fairly low DC, uh, determines that the carved bones are in fact dwarven in nature. Yeah. Huzzah! Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and a final act of desperation. You, you kind of already figured this out. So many consecration spells. The dwarves who were sealed in the barracks <laughs> resorted to cannibalism to stave off starvation as long as possible. Uh, 15A, which is kind of in the middle of this big old room. Okay. The area of 15A is clearly what was once a training area, but has changed to a much more sinister purpose. Between 15A and 15B, there are weapon racks with many blood-stained weapons. There is a slab of stone carved in dwarven runes, kind of propped up against the weapon rack. 
that states the following. Here we go. Meat Grinder Special. Every week, lots will be drawn to determine who will be tested. The strong survive, the weak are consumed. None are safe from the drawing. Volunteers always welcome. Hmm. That's cheerful. I you know what? Totally volunteer for that just to <coughs> kill some dwarves. I volunteer for tribute! <laughs> 15B, which is the other uh, training, southern training mat, also shows signs of brutal and bloody battle. C, which is uh, the brewery type area, which is going to be over here. This area contains an ancient brewer's setup, but it has long since dried up. Uh, some of the equipment is damaged and there is general disrepair. The pantry that lies to the east of the brewery, which is this area right here, uh, contains long emptied casks of ale. Uh, most of it frost beer. <clears throat> That's really, uh, it's, the, Area 15 is mostly informational as far as what happened there. That's uh, everything for this floor. There are three doors heading further east that lead to Area 16, which we'll talk about now. We'll just kind of assume you're kind of yeah. sweeping through <coughs> in horror, abject horror. <laughs> Uh, not okay. Yeah, is not okay. Yeah. Sorry. In in this area, in like the next area, which is fairly wide open, uh, there are seven grates that are covered in thick, ropey, dangling oil that has long since congealed. Uh, they look down upon the steps of area one, where you entered. Out the shop. That's where they, they. Oh, that's where the pitch goes down. That's where they pitch. Yeah. Uh, there are seven large hinged pots that are adjacent to the grates that once held the oil, or pitch, or whatever. Uh, pitch is just thick oil, anyway. Uh, closed heat vents under each pot are coated with so much oil and or blood that it cannot be opened without a strength check. Uh, given your collective strength and the fact that Amsh can now call his strength score for a strength check, Oh, which right. is 29. Uh, you can <laughs> open. Is that huh? yeah. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. You can open. Uh, <laughs> you can open the vents, at which point a tense heat wafts up to begin heating the pot in question. And it can be open and closed relatively easily once the initial uh, seal part is broken. Can we see out onto the battlefield? You can see down. Uh, and out a little bit, but not really enough to see. Like if someone was lower. Than oh, than actually, there. yes. Uh, there are windows oh. as well that you can like shoot across the vault or whatever through, and you can in fact see. The battle, battle still raging. Is, battle is still raging. It's very heated. Uh, they seem to be holding their own for now, which is good. You have spent probably forty-five minutes on this floor. And we had a short rest. Uh, gathering information, collect, yeah, and you also had the short rest. So you've been in Apple for about two hours. No. Sure. <coughs> okay. Cool beans. I uh, did not, I do have more stuff planned, so we'll continue. On your way back, you don't see any other kind of creatures already dealt with all of the ghouls and ghasts and the like, uh, which are at, at most CR2, so you're... My, it would have been destroying you, Yeah, you would have been destroying all of those. Anything below a three. Boom. Headshot. Boom goes the dynamite. Oh, headshot, anybody? But so you <laughs> head... <laughs> what are you doing? You now are heading downstairs into Going down, down, baby. the forge area. There's an almost stifling heat as you venture down into the forge area. Oh great, the forges are lit. A dim glow arises from the adamantine molds as the heat, which is still alive and well, uh, so to speak, is kind of there about. Uh, you're not there, you're not fully in there yet, but we'll kind of go step by step here. <coughs> New map! Yay! Huzzah! Forge. 
is the red lava? Gorge area. Uh, not lava per se. The new is molten metal. The floor is lava. The floor is lava. <laughs> we'll actually talk about what that is more precisely as we continue. Um, did I? Where is it? I'm not going to make this out of two pages. That's okay. There's some. <laughs> sorry. All right. <coughs> did you just say sorry to a tap box? Yes. Okay. It's a Damn. reflex. <laughs> uh, the sort of, once you get down into the uh, sort of initial part of the forge area, I know. you come upon a, what is a staging area for those who work in the forge? Heavy leather aprons, protective lenses and masks, and heavy leather adamantine toed boots adorn the northern wall. On the southern wall, there are lockers with various names carved onto attached plates signifying to whom the locker is assigned. There are quite a few of those. There's a lot of dwarves that used to work at the forges. When you enter into the area, uh, and we'll have to, this is going to be theater of the mind because I don't have this drawn out, and that's okay. The forge is a massive series of magically imbued pipes containing the superheated metals worked from the forge. There are runes all over this adamantine metal. Uh, because you're going to kind of figure this out eventually, and you are being at the level you are, especially with Elric present, you can immediately just kind of offhand notice that there are two types of runes etched onto these uh, barrel pipe systems. Uh, <coughs> fire-based evocation to help keep it hot and abjuration to protect the adamantine itself from melting due to the molten adamantine and stuff that's within it. <coughs> Sorry, yeah, no sandwich. Hey buddy. What's the sandwich? What are you doing? Oh well. Good. Well, okay, that's cool. You can show it me. Just don't get on my sandwich. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you pointed it out. Nope. Oops. I use that sandwich. There is. <laughs> you fit him. He's just staring at the sandwich. <laughs> well, for now. Right here? Yep. There is a very big vault door on the southern wall. Oh, dear. Uh. You don't have a lot of time to really look at it, though, um, because there are a few critters in here. Do I have this? Ma kind of ransacking the place, maneuvering about, doing various things. I'll give you the list of what they are, and then we'll begin the process of systematically killing them, I guess. Yes, yes. There were five. Flame skulls. Did we sneak up on them? We were. We were with. Uh, stealth checks. Trace. Let me stealth checks and add ten. That lasts for an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You'll still have it active for at least the beginning of this fight. Stealth check. You got twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have disadvantage because my heavy armor, so I get ah, this cancels out. Twenty. This cancels out. Nice. Uh, we even this die. Core. Which one? They're all of them. I need a bunch of D6s. Nine, two, one, one. Not usually play this spell cast. Ooh, need about more D6s. 21 for Elric, 29 for Ulfgar. That's good. And that should do it. Don't even tell me. This doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. 40 what? It was 40, actually. Only rolled an 11. Huh. Only. Okay. Evander? What are we rolling for? Stealth. Stealth. Plus 10. Plus 10 on top of this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 32. Nice. Alright. Yeah, 29. 46. Mm -hmm. I think we rolled 46. Oh, nice. I rolled a nat 20. Oh. 
Yeah, we are a stealthy. Yeah. He's like, he's also whispering in people's ears too. <laughs> he's like, hey. Wait, what did Calderax get? Is he Calderax is invisible. And floating. And floating. So I'm not gonna. No really sound. Yeah. No sound or, or visual. The only way they find him is if they smell him. Oh, that's something else. Entirely. Poor taste or feeling. But those are less likely. Okay. Please don't lick the undead lich. I'm not gonna <laughs> sell him one. <laughs> so, Do again, not kink shame. Five. <laughs> Flame skulls. One. I don't know if you've ever encountered these in this particular Ulfgar has. game. I mean, just uh, I'll show you what they look like. They're kind of neat looking. They're, they're they're flaming skulls. Not those. Oh. Oh, uh, you know what those are. Those are very obviously floating floating skulls of green flame. Well, oh. As long as they're not demi liches, I'm cool. Uh, I don't believe that they are. No. Because cause that would be bad. They look similar, but... Okay, I need to go further in. Derp a derp. Okay. One of these. No. No. <laughs> I know what those do. <clears throat> I use one on you. It's called a death slot. This is revenge. Uh, three. So you brought this upon us. Yeah. We need to find who holds this control gem. Three. I don't know that. Fire elementals. Great. And one Goristro. Yay! This is going to be a challenging fight. Can we do some history checks here to see if you recognize what that death slot is? Uh, you can certainly try, yeah. <laughs> now, dude, look at this. Ah. <laughs> you want to see something really funny? <laughs> <laughs> so Elric got a twenty-nine. Nice. Uh, Ulfgar got a twenty-two. I'm sorry, no, nineteen. Excuse me. Also nice. Nineteen. Nineteen for Ulfgar. Uh, twenty-nine for Elric. What'd you get? Twenty. 20? You only have a plus 2 to history. <clears throat> I don't... No. Bad rogue. I rolled a no. Uh, <laughs> I was a ranger first. Okay, cool. He kills shit. So What's the does. lowest roll? 21 on, on stealth? I think it was. Yeah. Okay, cool. That was Elric. But no, uh, do we recognize the death slot? Anybody? You don't like the particular one? Like, do you know it's a death slot? <laughs> See my bro? <laughs> that it's a, uh, okay. Yeah, that was that was the history check. That's got what I'm to do. got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, Elric with a twenty nine would definitely know exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. So Elric's gonna turn and whisper to all of us. We need to find the control gem. Control gem. What's a control gem? It is a stone taken from the brain of the slot that gives its bearer control over it. That thing is a high-level spellcaster. Kind of. They can cast 7th-level spells. They only get so, so many spells per day. I know, but still. <coughs> still cast them. It's got so cloud okay. kill. True. <laughs> That's very true. Um, as I'm you're kind familiar of... familiar with this bastard. So, <laughs> as you're kind of going in, um, can we try Elric, to... Elric notices and he rolled low enough. It's still a good roll, don't get me wrong, but... They see him. You, uh, he spotted, he's like, That's a death slot! Because, <laughs> you know, he would totally do that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and now, we roll... Initiatives. Initiatives. Can I try to, after he says that, try to perceive to see if I can figure out who would be holding that thing's gym or if it's nearby. It would be a <coughs> similar color to the slot. Uh, sure, give me a perception. Uh, of course would be the same. Okay, 29. 29. Um, 21. You do not see the control gym anywhere. Shit. Not Sorry. in this room. So we're gonna have to kill. <coughs> yep. This is hard to kill. I got this. Hold All right. Uh, let's Hold my beer. <laughs> do... Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's start. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna roll some rules myself here. Give me a second. I have a player's handbook. 
It's been a long time since I've I'm played gonna, a bard. I'm gonna need one too, because I didn't. Because, Eight plus um, six. Gerald. Yo. Uh, Eli did not write down his spells, like Ew. what spells his wizard like, knows. He's an invocation wizard, so I'm gonna assume. Damn, blasty, blasty. Yes, he has blasty, blasty. Blast explosion, blast. Yeah, his spellbook is in his phone. Perfect. <coughs> yeah. It's a good thing we have that here. Right. Right. Oh wait. Not opposite of that. Ooh. 22 for the elementals. And he's a 18. We're rolling initiative right now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Rolling initiative. <coughs> Don't forget you have advantage on that. Oh. Oh. So yeah. do I. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. So Dang. Dang. I, I wish the modifier was higher. God damn it. I need more dexterity. Go, Ulfgar. Go, Ulfgar. <coughs> again. One more critter to roll four. So you suck. <laughs> that would be the one I rolled bad for. Okay, cool. Five is for the death slot. Okay, cool. Twenty-two for Ulfgar. Eleven for Elric. Yay. Okay. 25. 25. <coughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, plus 12. I'm trying to decide how... I'm 12. How bad this... What are we is. adding to it? Your dexterity initiative. Your initiative? Oh, yeah. with advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. With advantage, thank God. <coughs> uh, 27. Mm-hmm. Okay. 19. 19... Awesome. Now, how do you have an issue? Uh, 16. I'm gonna make a few. How do you have advantage? <coughs> I thought you said advantage on initiative. I get it because no, of barbarian. We, we he did. does we because did. it is. Oh. Oh. Well, then it was. Then I rolled an eight. It doesn't matter. Okay. It'll be fine. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna put. Did you get? I just went back. Ah. Damn. A quick note. Here. <laughs> uh. I got it. Because he said so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I'm the secret DM. Yep. There's one more of those. Oh. Huh. That's a great that fly statue is of a cat. On the, on the light. Wow. Okay. Um, <coughs> well. yep. Super focused on that fly. Rosie cat's over here just being like, whatever. What the heck is going on here? How many targets total do we have on the field? Four. Uh, a fair amount. Five, six, seven, eight, I mean, how many can we see from where we are? Ten. Oh. oh. Uh, there are a total. In just a second. I have another list for you. Death thing, two fire minerals, and something else. Oh, he's got an item too. I need a DMG. Huh? I need a DMG. Oh. <coughs> that is right here. Thank you. Oh, in the right section too. Thank you. He's got the ah. staff of power. Ah! Here we are. I need to figure out what, what he Here we are. At. There are a total of ten enemies. I will point them out to you as we... Uh, as I have them drawn out. What size is that? Medium. Okay, cool. Does anything have, like, true sight? Or anything like that? Ooh. Uh, there's blind sight. How many charges? I believe that the Garistro might. Have you ever seen anything have blonde sight too? I don't believe so, no. Okay. Are these things undead? Uh, these, the, fl the flame skulls are, yeah. Or fiends or demons? Demons, the Garistra is a demon. Okay. The Slod is a, an aberration, technically speaking. Well, Not from this plane. <coughs> okay. Uh, by the way, the, uh, the, the axe is currently a hammer. Cool. For those purposes. That doesn't make sense. I can shift the form. I, I read the thing. Alright. So. Yeah. <coughs> Got it. You all are here. <coughs> Flame skulls are. There's two over here. There's one right here. No, I'm sorry. There's two right here. Do, do. There's one way over here. Shit, they're pretty spread out. <coughs> the slot is here. And the Garistro, the big old boy, is right here. Okay. <coughs> uh, so the slot is probably the, the 
hardest? No, the Gristro. Gristro. Gristro is the hardest, then the Slod, then everything else. Okay. How are we on time? Right now. Wow. <laughs> nice time. Sweet. We will be right back. One shot. With combat. Focus. Later. On the slot.